Bitcoin first hit 1,000 back in October of 2013. It took nearly 1,300 days to reach 2,000. That was just in May of this year. And since then, the cryptocurrency has absolutely taken off. 143 days to go from 2 to 5,000. 47 days to double again to $10,000. And after hitting 10K last night, last night, for the first time, it took just over 12 hours to hit 11K and now just a few hours to fall back below that level. So what's next for Bitcoin after a roller coaster day? Bob Bassani is here with a look at whether a Bitcoin ETF could now be on the horizon, Bob. And there's a very good reason why Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have blown up in the last couple of months. So what's exciting, investors, is the expanding derivatives market for cryptocurrencies, which is adding some much needed legitimacy. Last month, for example, Ledger X, an institutional trading and clearing platform, began trading Bitcoin options. That was a big step. Now the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the CBOE, and now the NASDAQ, they're all set to roll out Bitcoin futures soon. This is good news. Bitcoin futures will enable traders to short Bitcoin. That's a welcome development. Here's another piece of good news. With the passage of time, there's more platforms, there's more participants, there's more maturity for cryptocurrencies. Here's the issue. Does this make crypto, uh, Bitcoin more valid? The SEC seems to be saying not necessarily. There have been several attempts to create Bitcoin ETFs this year. They've all been turned down by the SEC. They regulate ETFs. Here's the problem. The SEC said Bitcoin is an unregulated market, and because of that, they would be unable to enter into surveillance agreements between other relevant agencies like the CFTC to keep track of this. You can't really blame the SEC for being worried. If Bitcoin is really unregulated, in the SEC's eyes, it would be subject to manipulation and fraud. And giving it exposure to a regulated market like the ETFs exposes the SEC to a lot of potential problems. So what would it take to be a regulated market? That's the question. It's possible that establishing a futures market might go a long way toward addressing addressing the issue. Perhaps, but think about this. Bitcoin itself was designed to be unregulated. While the blockchain has not been hacked, the platforms that support the cryptocurrencies have been hacked, and no one is necessarily regulating all those groups. So you can see why the SEC is concerned. And Mike, you know well the big war that's gone on for years between yeah. the CFTC yep. and the SEC, and there's a turf wars that have always existed right there, and this is a very delicate area. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.